Thanks for joining us. I'm Corporal Devin Pomachan. Marine martial arts instructors at Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni cross-trained with leaders of the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, demonstrating combat conditioning, basic martial arts, and knife skills. Marine Corporal Sarah Brago takes us to the McMat Pit. Marines at Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni demonstrated basic techniques of the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program to leaders in the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force. They're great learners. Uh, they have the heart to learn and a heart to do it. That's one of the reasons why I came out here because I knew they were going to be interested in learning what we have to do as, uh, as far as combat conditioning and the MIGMAP program. Currently, the JGSDF Martial Arts Program uses several techniques from the Marine Corps style. The training was very impressive. I was impressed with not only the martial arts, but also the combat conditioning and how they transport wounded based on actual fighting. From students to teachers, Japan Ground Self-Defense Force demonstrated their martial arts program before training and sparring with Marines during Exercise Force Light 17-1. Japanese taught Marines how they train their soldiers in close quarter combat. Marines observed first and then got the chance to try what they had learned. I feel like the Japanese training is very effective. I have a very good way of training. It's very similar to ours. Just a little more, they start out a little bit more intense. Reporting from Sagamahara, Japan, I'm Lance Corporal Jacob Colvin. Forest Light continues through the middle of March. That is it for this news break. You can check out AFN Pacific on YouTube and davidshub.net and follow us on Twitter and Facebook at AFN Pacific Now. Thanks for watching.